and welcome back to How Not to Play, a channel in which I play video games badly. Today we are continuing our platinum playthrough of Horizon Forbidden West. But before we do, a few quick words of warning. Since this is a playthrough, it will contain spoilers if you have not yet played this game. Also, it does contain violence, and I do contain strong language, so if any of that is offensive to you, you may want to watch something else. So without further ado, let's get into the gameplay for Horizon Forbidden West. Alrighty, so we have just finished the Rain Trace hunting grounds, well, mostly, and are now on our way to Thornmarsh. Well, specifically north of Thornmarsh to meet Talana and see what's going on with her long lost love. Okay, so Talana should be right around here somewhere. There we go, leaning up against a tree. Thornmarsh. Quite a sight, isn't it? Never thought I'd find myself this deep in Tanakh territory. Have you run into any trouble? I've been keeping my head down. Had to duck into the swamps a couple of times to avoid Tanakh patrols. Well, I'm here now. So spill it. Who is Amatis, really? Like I said before, he helped me put a stop to a hunter-killer machine out in the wilds. At first, he thought I was just another hunter from the lodge who only cared about the biggest machine trophy. And I thought he was just a grouchy hermit living in the woods. But then, he trusted me with the truth. Told me how the Red Raids took everything from him. Seeing that side of him, I don't know, changed things. You love him, don't you? I think I might, yeah. Then why did you part ways? When he told me how he failed to save the woman from his past, I told him how I made peace with my father and brother's deaths. He realized he needed to do the same on his own. Wait. When we searched that Red Raid's battlefield together, you said he'd lost someone close to him there. I thought you meant a fellow soldier. She was. Women aren't allowed to serve in the Karja army, but Nessa disguised herself so she could. Amadis kept her secret. When he left to come out west, he promised he'd send word that he was all right, but his letter never came. So you set out to find him. And when we do, I'll have words for him for leading us on this wild goose chase. Well, at least I kind of understand now. Amadis thought Nessa died on the battlefield. But when he learned that the Tanakhs took prisoners back west, he kept going. So I guess now we find this prison, the Rot. I did some scouting while I was waiting. I think I might have found the way. Lead on, then. Do you think Nessa might still be alive? I doubt it. Many Karja prisoners from the Red Raids would have been killed or returned home by now. Then what's Amadis after? I think he just needs to know. Hey, they said enough. All right, Tawana, where are you taking me? Watch out for those trip wires. Ha! Over here, you flaming hunk of scrap! That's him! The fire claws right on his heels. Come on!
Well, fuck. Oops, that was meant for him. Oh, fuck! He can throw fucking rocks at my head. bastard. as fierce a fighter as ever. Talana, I... You were supposed to let me know you were okay. I was going to send the message right after I crossed into the desert with an Osaram caravan. But when it became clear that the tunnel had collapsed behind us, I figured the only thing I could do was press on. Seeing as you found a way out here, however, clearly I was wrong. I'm sorry. The last thing I wanted was to worry you. So, you must be a modest. And you must be Aloy. Talana's told me a lot about you. And I guess you must know about me. Uh, a little. We know you're headed for the rot. But where are you hoping to find there? A clue. Or a shred of one. Anything about Ness's fate. Maybe she died on the battlefield. Or maybe she wasted away in that prison. Either way, I have to know. Talana told me about you and Nessa during the Red Raids, that you kept her secret. We were both assigned to the Southern Spear Division. Our orders were to push into Tanakh territory through the tunnel. She was proud to serve the Sundan at first. But as the atrocities mounted, we both saw the raids for what they were. And the two of you grew close? We did what we could to protect innocent lives. It felt like we were the only ones who objected to the slaughter. And, yes, we were close. Until the Battle of the Burning Blooms. What happened at the Battle of the Burning Blooms? I had intel that the Tanakh forces were greater than we had anticipated. I tried to convince my commander to halt the attack. He was a drunken lout. And when I threatened to reveal his incompetence to Karja High Command, he pulled a knife on me. So I killed him. In self-defense. It was still murder. I was condemned. But I thought at least I could still save Nessa. I was too late. By the time I got to the battle, the fields were already burning. Our soldiers slaughtered or missing. What's more, the commander I had killed was from a powerful noble house. They put a bounty on my head. I've been on the run ever since. But the Red Raids are long over. Sun King Avad would pardon you if he knew... The Sun King can't help me. A pardon from Avad won't stop bounty hunters eager to claim their prize. So, you and Talana, um, sounds like the two of you had an adventure out in the wilds. Claw Striders, a hunter killer, mercenaries, a shell snapper, 
Nothing could get in her way. A scruffy hermit in the woods certainly tried. That was foolish of him, in hindsight. Well, we're here now, so let's head to the rot. I can't ask you to come with me. I feel bad enough you've come this far. I didn't come all this way just to leave you now. We'll see this through together. I know better than to try to talk you out of it. Come then. The rot's not far. The rot's along the shore, but we'll have to stick to the woods to avoid being seen. How did you find it? I overheard a Tanuk patrol from the nearby village talking about it. Figured it out from there. What were you gonna do if we hadn't found you? Take it on alone? Ready for I only need to now? question one guard. Figured I'd grab someone when they're by themselves. Well, now you have us. We're getting close. Just a little further. Oh, yeah. There it is. The rot. Those are Regal's rebels. They're waging civil war against the rest of the Tanakh. They must have taken over the prison. Then they would have killed any of the guards. They were my last hope of finding out if Nessa was there. Maybe not. There might still be some clue inside. Even after all this time? Aloy can see much more than you or I. And let's do it. Any scrap of hope is better than nothing. We'll have to find another way in. The front gate looks impenetrable. And there's no way we're scaling those walls. You two stay here. I'll see if I can find another way in and get that gate open. I should check around the sides. Might be a way in from the water. And I'm left to do everything on my own, again. It's okay, I kind of prefer it that way. Is that a prisoner? Yeah. Uh, grapple point up here, maybe? No? Okay. Oh my, that's quite a few people, huh? Oh, we're definitely on the water side. Don't see any handhelds yet. Oh. Underwater. That's a possibility. Nope. Just a nice open wall. Gotta get to the main gate to let Talana and Amadison. It's true. Or. I could thin the herd out a bit on my way there. So, is the outlander hiding out? Where is she going? I know where y'all can't find me. Oh, fuck you. That right in his fucking head! Bullshit, they fucking... God damn it!
ready blade lives through the battle. I wonder if I can hit him through here. Yep, I sure can. Might be a good time to let Talana and Madison. All right, well that does it for the uh, champion. Bull fucking shit. God damn it. Motherfucker. If you go further on down the shore, there's another uh, entry point. So having alerted them on that side, we'll just head on over to this side. Y'all can't find me, I'm a ghost. <laughs> That's all of them. Better get that main gate open for Talana and Amatis. All right, so that was easy enough. Hi guys. Then 
end of the line, Outlanders. That device oh. is gonna call a machine. I'm gonna need that later. Is somebody shooting at me? Alright, I wanted to make sure I got that. Oh god. Damn it. Um, there's a wall there. Be nice if I could actually hit what I was aiming for. There we go, finally. I think that's the end of it. Hear that? Tired of dealing with his bullshit. I wasn't exactly equipped for a Tide Ripper. Here. Door's locked, but that last rebel had a key on it. How convenient. Freed by Karcha? Have we not been humiliated enough? It's not their fault you were locked up in your own prison. I'm looking for information about a Karcha soldier. She might have been a prisoner here five years back. Her name was Nessa. The Karja Nessa was here. I killed her myself. Nessa? I'll handle this. Go secure the grounds. 
It's you, isn't it? Nessa, how? It's Why? Rataka. Uh, let me get this straight. You were Nessa. You were brought here as a prisoner during the Red Raids and then became Tanakh? The Karja forbid women from military service. I lived my life pretending, ashamed of who I really was. But the Tanakh measure a soldier only by their strength and resolve. So I took my place among them. Ness... Rataka, I've mourned you for five years. Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I had a new life. I wasn't going back. Not even for you, Amadis. The way Amadis talked about your time together, I thought you'd still care about him. It was five years ago. I didn't abandon you. Before the battle, I tried to get Gadiah to call off the attack, but of course, he didn't listen. I ended up killing him. Then he got what he deserved. I ran for the battlefield to find you. But you were already gone by the time I got there. I didn't know. But even if I did, I mourned you, and then I moved on. If you were brought here as a prisoner, how did you become Tanakh? I knew it was only a matter of time before the Tanakh killed me and the others who were held captive. But one day, one of their soldiers stopped in front of my cell, asked how a woman had ended up fighting for the Mad Sun King. As he spoke, I realized he was once Karja. Vashav. I heard how he fell at the embassy. He deserved a better death than that. The other prisoners he condemned to death, but he convinced the Tanakh to let me fight for my life. I won through blood and blade. I became Rataka and never looked back. What will you do now? You've taken back the rot. My squad will ensure it stays that way. So this is it? After everything we've been through, this is goodbye? It has to be. My place will always be here, and yours is back east. I'm sorry that you've suffered. You deserve better than how the last five years have treated you. I'll make sure you're granted safe passage out of the lowland. Consider it Nessa's final farewell. At least now you know the truth. Somehow it hurts worse. You must think I'm an idiot. No, I just think you have a lot to figure out. I'll take you back east to the Sendem. After that, I don't know. Talana, I... understand. I'm sorry it came to this. Me too. Give me an Aloy a moment. Are you alright? To be honest, no. What's going to happen between you two? I'm not sure. He clearly has a lot more feelings to sort through. And I won't be anyone's second choice. I want you to have this, for seeing this through with me. No hawk could ask for a better thrush, or a better friend. So, I guess this is it then. You're heading back east. I think I'll hang around Baron Light for a while before returning to Meridian. If you find yourself back that way, look for me there. I will. Safe travels, Talana. Ooh, a lightning hunter bow. Maybe I should check in with her the next time I'm at Baron Light. Seems like she could use a shoulder to lean on. Ooh, with shock arrows. And purge water arrows. Interesting. <laughs> 